I was asked a couple of times to do a quick little video on this feature of um, Kira, just so that way everybody's more aware of it. Uh, what feature I'm talking about is actually um, kind of layered prints. Um, how to get different colors with one nozzle um, and the easy easier ways to go about it. Um, the downside to this is each layer is going to be that color. So as you see here we got the black is the base color and then white is the text and then um, the little nozzle area or whatever is the gold here. So we actually got three bands of color there. Um, there's not too good of ways of solving that. Um, dual extrusion, what I could have done would be print this whole end in gold. Uh, let's go back. Print this whole end in gold. Um, and then do one extruder for this black part, the base, and then switch out the filament for, let's say, this black base was extruder one, um, and add a pause, which we're going to get into, um, and do this portion uh, do the pause at the layer height and then switch the filament in extruder 1 all while this gold section is extruder 2. Uh, downside to that is this gold section would be pretty flimsy and probably break off pretty quickly. Um, as you see, this black base layer actually runs all the way through, so it's pretty well a solid layer. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, so in Kira, I'm going to go ahead and try to find that model again. Alright, so here we'll open up the STL. Uh, this is kind of a new feature for Kira. It's not new to 3D printing, but the select base align drop is pretty nice. Um, so here we got basically the STL. This is not a dual extrusion file. It has one color, uh, and we're going to talk about how to actually change that color. Uh, so what we want to do is actually come up to this extensions in this modify G code. We want to add a script. So there's two different things that you can do for this. Um, filament change if your printer, which most of them nowadays have a script built into them for filament change, um, or this pause at layer height. They do kind of the same thing. One you have settings for, uh, you know, basically your retractions and initial retractions. Uh, you can change your X, Y position so that way it doesn't go all the way to home. Uh, and pause at layer height. You basically pause at X millimeters. Uh, hold it there for park the head. Yeah. So this one's pretty complicated really what we're looking for is a filament change so we'll do the filament change um, we're gonna need three of these I believe so I'm gonna keep adding filament change and filament change because we have three now this is how I do it uh, if you design the file you can do it based on you know heights but I'll slice the file and then I'll come over here to the previewer and I literally will just go and wait, 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 wait. 
Okay, so there is the top layer. Um, but if we do the top layer, then the base coat is going to also be white. So let's go up. So right there, uh, that's layer 25 on this guy. Um, that'll give us one layer uh, of the Colorado in black. And then the remaining layers in white. Um, so at layer 25, I believe that's where we wanted that. So we want to come in here, uh, filament change, layer number 25. Close that, and then you can re slice it. Uh, you can kind of guesstimate or I could have changed this, uh, but you can see right here um, at layer 30, so 29 is the last layer of white, 30, so just to be safe, I'll probably do 31. Uh, so this guy here, we want to go 31. I guess we didn't need three of them. Close. So now we'll slice it here. So basically what it's going to do from here is uh, whatever color is loaded first, it's going to print all the way up until layer number 25. Then it's going to pause for a filament change. Your printer is going to park at zero and zero uh, and cry at you, uh, change the filament to color two, in this case that white, um, then press start, then it's going to go and go and go, 31 it's going to pause, this will be our last layer change, in this case it would be uh, the gold color, uh, I plug in the gold color and it finishes out and pretty simple. Thanks for watching.